Hello, I have built a time machine to prove that time travel is impossible and thereby proving that Einstein's theory of relativity is wrong. Einstein stated that time is relative, not absolute, for every object in the universe depending on its relative velocity. A stationary observer would observe time on a fast moving object slow down. This theory has given rise to all the popular theories and films about time travel. As you can see with my demonstration of a time machine, if an object moved through space-time, it should disappear. It should no longer exist in our timeline. It should not matter how much an object moves through space-time, even if it were a microsecond or a picosecond. All the scientific experiments which pretend to prove an object moving through space-time, for example, the 70s experiment with two atomic clocks showing a different time after one clock was flown around the Earth on a plane, actually proves the opposite. If the clock on the plane had really moved through space-time, in other words, travelled through time, it should have disappeared together with the plane. The atomic clock on the plane was only counting the vibrational frequency of an atom, which could have been affected by any number of different physical phenomena, for example, gravitational drag, centripetal forces, centrifugal forces, and so on. In the final analysis, if any object moves through space-time, time travels, then it must disappear from our timeline, our reality. We know for a fact that things can travel faster than the speed of light, a phenomenon called quantum entanglement, which is already being used practically by Chinese scientists to deliver encryption keys to the recipient of encrypted messages. It is very important to deliver the encryption keys using a different channel or route than the encrypted information. Quantum entangled particles react synchronically, instantaneously, irrespective of the distance separating them. In other words, information between the quantum entangled particles travels instantaneously, which means it must have traveled faster than the speed of light. Wormholes in the universe are also nonsense. I have been saying for decades that empty space is not empty. Most scientists are now coming to the same realization that the universe is swimming in a dark fluid or dark matter. I used to have interesting debates with my Irish friend, John, about 20 years ago about deep sea fish. Are they aware of the water around them, since they have never been outside of the water and cannot survive outside without the physical support of the water, even if they could breathe air? In the same way, humans cannot survive in space without a spacesuit. I would say that matter cannot survive outside of the dark fluid, atoms and subatomic particles would disintegrate without the physical support of the dark fluid or dark matter. A wormhole, by definition, would really be a tube empty of dark fluid in which even matter could not survive. Therefore, it does not exist. And there is absolutely no way a human being could travel through it and stay intact because even matter would disintegrate. 
I hope you have enjoyed my time machine demonstration and my theories based on this concept. Please subscribe to my channel for more thought-provoking videos and books. Thank you.